Hey guys, in this video, let's do the comparison between the Realme T100 versus Realme T300 TWS earbuds. So the Realme T300 earbuds is the upgrade of the Realme T100 earbuds. So in this video, let's have a look on what are all the best upgrades contains in the Realme T300 when compared to Realme T100. And finally, let's have a look on what are all the common cons on the both Realme T100 and T300 earbuds. So now before going to this video, if you are new to this channel, subscribe to our channel below. Well, now firstly, the major upgrade on the Realme T300 when compared to T100 is that it's a music experience. In the Realme T100, it built on 10mm dynamic bass driver. But in the Realme T300, it built on a 12.4 mm of a dynamic base driver. And also in the Realme T300, it supported with the Dolby Atmos with the spatial audio effect. So if you connect this Realme T300 earbuds with the Dolby Atmos supported Realme phones, you can able to experience a 360 degree sound experience. Overall specs wise, Realme T300 has some good upgrade compared to T100. And also on comparing the music experience by hearing audio, one by one on both this earbud. So I have the great experience on music in the Realme T300 compared to T100. In Realme T300, the overall volume and the bass effects are much higher than the Realme T100 earbuds. And the next good upgrade is that ANC. In the Realme T300, there is a 30 decibel active noise cancellation, but in the Realme T100, there is a no active noise cancellation. So the Realme T300 noise cancellation is good enough for the price segment. So it comes with the 30 decibels and I done the experimental demo video. You can just watch the demo video with the headphones so that you can able to get some clarity about so how was the ANC performance on the Realme T300 earbuds. And the next improvement is on the battery. In the Realme T100, it uh, comes with uh, up to 28 hours of a uh, total playtime hours, but on the Realme T300, it have up to 40 hours of a uh, total playtime hours. And also based on my testing, the Realme T100 gives up to 25 hours, and on the T300, it maximum gives 29.5 hours playtime hours with the ANC off at the 60% volume. So overall, the playtime hours on the Realme T300 is higher than Realme T100. And the next good thing is that uh, in the Realme T300, there is a dual pairing, which means you can able to switch the connection from one device to another device with the help of a triple tap function. So if you are a T300 user means just to go to the Realme link application and here go to the button settings and once go to the triple tap you can see the option switch devices. Once you enabled this and after that whenever you triple tap on any one earbud you can able to switch over the connection between two devices. But these feature not exist on the Realme T100 earbuds. And this one also one more major upgrade on Realme T300 earbuds. And the next important upgrade is on the calling experience. So I tested the calling in both the earbuds simultaneously. So after doing the calling test in the indoors, uh, I can uh, feel the difference on the Realme T300 versus Realme T100. So my voice clarity and the volume level is much better in the Realme T300 compared to T100. And in the outdoor calling, so both are actually having a good equal performance only. The main thing is that in the outdoor, if you are speaking calls during a roadside, if there is any vehicle movements or horn noise nearby you means, so that noises are hearable to the opposite person only. Both these earbuds not zero the background noise. So that horn noise and vehicle movements, which are all hearable to the opposite person. So that is not disturbing at a major level. So at the same time, your voice clarity and volume level are good. Overall, in the outdoor, the performance on both these earbuds, the calling experience is equal. But in the indoor, the Realme T300 is performs well than Realme T100. So I just attached the calling test of this uh, Realme T300 versus uh, Realme T100 in this video so that you can able to get some better clarity about the calling. In my point of view, T300 has some good uh, upgrade in the calling compared to T100. Uh, we are going to do the comparison between the Realme T300 and the Realme T100 calling test. Okay. So now I am currently connected with the Realme T100 earbuds. Okay. So now how is my voice clarity and volume level? 
and let's uh, hear how is the background noise so is that all how much hearable to you is that the more disturbing to you no it's not more disturbing but i can able to hear the horn sound okay i would say in the medium to high range level okay and uh, volume level also is more than hearable so overall uh, it's uh, good to speak all the sound yes okay now just wait i just switch over to the realme t300 here first and let's find out what is the difference between t300 and t3 hello hello yeah currently i'm switched over to the realme t300 here but okay so now how is my voice clarity and volume level and uh, is that almost the same like the realme t100 here but or there is some uh, uh, difference you feel and uh, whether realme t300 is uh, better than realme t100 actually it's similar to the previous one only okay the volume level is more than hearable Okay. And uh, background noise also, I can able to hear the horn sound. Okay. But uh, but in this, I think the volume level of the background noise is quite less when compared to the other one. And next, to moving on to the app features, both these earbuds has the app support for Android phones using the Realme Link application. So once you connected with the Android phone, you can able to see the case and earbuds battery percentage. To see the case battery percentage in both the earbuds, you need to place at least one earbud in the case. Then only you can able to see the case battery percentage in the Realme Link application. And comparatively, in the Realme T300, there is some better features than T100. Because in the Realme T300, there is a noise control. You can control right from here and you can able to add a custom equalizer. So once you go to the sound effect modes, you can add a custom equalizer. But in the Realme T100, there is a only three default equalizer. You need to set only these equalizer modes only. And additionally, in T300, there is a special audio feature and a game mode and camera related settings like a shutter control. And you can able to use the Find My Earbuds feature and Find My Phone feature. And main important thing is that the Find My Earbuds feature only works on if you connect the Realme T300 in the Realme smartphone. If you connected in the non-Realme Android phone means then you can't able to use the find my earbuds feature and in the, in the realme t and there is no find my earbuds feature in the realme link application but you can use the find my earbuds feature with the help of the google fastpad once you go to the google fastpad device details here click on the find device and here you can able to use the find my earbuds feature by clicking on the left or right the earbuds will actually ring so using the google fastpad you can use the find earbuds feature and then moving on to the button settings in both these earbuds, there is uh, all type of functions, including volume control. Even in the Realme T100, you can able to control the volume and T300 also you can able to control. But the thing is that in the Realme T300, so all the functions are only available on this triple tap action. If you click on triple tap, all these functions are here only like a voice assistant, switch device, volume up and down, next track, previous track. So on the overall Realme T300 has some good features than Realme T100, but there is some constraints also in the touch functions when compared to T100. Now next let's have a look on what are all need to be improved on the Realme T300 earbuds when compared to Realme T100. So first thing is that the build quality. So both this Realme T300 and T100 are built on plastic material only. But just look at the thickness of the plastic. So the Realme T100 has a good thickness on the plastic compared to T300. So in Realme T300, Realme actually made some co compromise in build quality. And in terms of wearing comfort, so both these earbuds are stem type design only. So in terms of wearing, there is no major issue. In my point of view, the wearing comfort on Realme T100 is better than Realme T300 earbuds. And in the Realme T300, there is no Google Fastpad. But in the earlier version on the Realme T100, there is a Google Fastpad. But this time, Realme skipped the Google Fastpad connection support. Now finally, let's have a look on what are all the cons on these both DWS earbuds. Firstly, let's have a look on the Realme T100 earbuds. In the Realme T100, there is a no dual connection, no app support for iPhones and no ANC support and no Dolby Atmos or a special audio experience support. 
and moving on to the realme t300 so as usual there is no app support for iphones and no google fosspair connection support and also there is some little uh, constraints like uh, the dual connection is not always connected between two devices you can't able to connect this uh, realme t300 earbuds in both the devices at the same time and one more thing is that on the touch functions in the triple tap action only all the functions are listed so like volume control previous track next track and switch device like that all the function in the same action triple tap so if a user want to use all the function means then how they can do so that is a one small constraints on the realme t300 so now overall now in my point of view so this is a complete comparison between the realme t300 versus the realme t100 earbuds if you are using any one of these earbuds means let me share your experience in the comment section below and if you have any other doubts also let me know in the comment section well now that's it on this video guys and hopefully if you like this video hit the like button and if you are new to this channel subscribe to our channel below and thanks for watching this video guys